Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Well, welcome back, everybody. Our sleep tight weather view this evening takes us to Westview Golf Course, which opened up today to the delight of many golfers around the tri states and a wonderful day to open up on. God, temperatures into the 60s, sunshine, few high clouds now coming into the area, and that is because that storm system from the south is slowly approaching. But I don't think we're going to get hit by the full force of that. It's going to skirt the area. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. But first, let's take a look at that almanac. As you can see, we got up to 63 degrees here in the tri states. That is 13 whole degrees above our average. Our low is 36. That's five degrees below above the average. So I don't have to worry about anything freezing. In fact, we just kept the snow right on melting there. And go ahead and take a look at the outside conditions. Yep, sunny out there. I can attest to that. 61 degrees. A little light breeze out from the east southeast at nine miles per hour. Quite pleasant. And looking across the complete area here, yep, all of us in the clear. It's Kirksville here at 65 degrees, Hannibal 63, 61 degrees out in Jacksonville. And our wind speed, yeah, all of us got that little light breeze from the east southeast going on about five to ten miles per hour. And let's go ahead and take a look at that radar and satellite. Well, it's pretty clear, but notice from the south. Storm system is lurking. Here it comes, gonna have some good clouds coming, making their way into the tri-states. And if we zoom out, you can see why. Big time rain shield going on. The system is from the Gulf of Mo Mo I keep doing this, Gulf of Mexico has a lot of moisture to work with. And it's going to try make its presence felt in the tri-states. This is gonna be this evening. Watch it move in here. The rain shield is gonna try and set up right around the Quincy area. Now and that's going to make a difference because I think areas to the north aren't going to see anything out of this whatsoever. Areas to the south are going to see a good amount of rain. In fact, there are flood, wa flood watches and advisories uh, from St. Louis south with all that snow melt and the rains coming in. So there could be parts of the area that get an extra bonus day of nice weather tomorrow. By Saturday afternoon, this whole thing's going to clear out. And guess what? We're going to go into our clear sunshine temperatures into the 60s again. So yeah, look forward to that. All right. So Tonight, through tonight to, to midnight, I think about a 20% chance of seeing some rain falling from the sky for our extreme southern viewers here. And then tomorrow, here's the rain chances, I think an 80%, very good chance of seeing rain to our south here along I-72, south of Hannibal. And then 50%, I think, north of that, up to a uh, line between Keokuk and Quincy, south of Macomb. And then 20% for Macomb, Keokuk, out to Kirksville. You guys might dodge this whole thing entirely and maybe have a little sunshine and temperatures warming back up into the 60s. So not too bad. Ah, low temperatures tonight. Yeah, pretty mild. 45 in Pittsfield, 46 Hannibal, 40 in Macomb, 41 degrees out in Kirksville. And then take a look at our highs. It's going to be warmer up to the north where that sunshine is able to make its uh, presence felt. South and to the southeast where that rain shield will envelop the area. It's going to keep those temperatures cooler. So we're calling for 63 in Hannibal and only 59 in Pittsfield, 56 in Jacksonville. You guys out in Kirksville, a good deal for you guys. 67 with light chance for rain. Okay, Friday, tomorrow, 64 degrees, few showers in the area. We'll get down to 41 by Saturday morning, and then we're going to dry out. A few clouds in the sky for Saturday, talking about highs near, near 60. We might make it up there. And then 62 for Sunday, another sunny, gorgeous day. By Monday, look at that, 70 degrees. A cold front does come through, however, and puts us down to those seasonal averages. But... Uh, Look to be pretty dry, so not a bad little forecast there. And of course, we have the St. Patty's Day Parade this Saturday in Quincy. We all will be there. Hope mm -hmm. you will too. Absolutely. Thanks, Dave. Thank now, as we mentioned today, was